Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Donna. This is Rosie and this is Raspberry, my two Rosie Bork parakeets. In today's video, I wanted to share with you how I sprout for my birds and the equipment that I use. Now sprouting for birds is a very healthy way to feed your birds. Sprouts are very high in uh, vitamins, minerals, enzymes, and chlorophyll, and they're very low in fat, and they're live foods, and they're delicious. So I suggest that you try some sprouting if you haven't already. Now if you have a bird that does not eat any fruits or vegetables or chop, I guarantee your bird will love sprouts. You can sprout grains, seeds, legumes, and some nuts. There's all kinds of food. He just did a poo-poo. There's all kinds of food that you can sprout. Just make sure that you uh, look it up of what you're sprouting to make sure it's healthy for your bird. Anyways, I wanted to share with you how I do all that. So let's get started. So this is uh, one way that I sprout. This is just a plastic jar. I got this from the health food store. It comes with mesh, which is basically just tool that you can go get on your own. It looks like this, you can get it on a spool. And it came with um, an elastic, it came with two pieces actually, and an elastic and a lid. So the lid is for when you finish sprouting, you can put the lid on and put them in your fridge. And the mesh is for when you put this over top and you want to put the elastic around it. I won't put it much neater than that, but basically when you're rinsing the sprouts, you want to you know dump out the water. You don't want to lose your sprouts in the sink, right? So you want some kind of mesh. You can get mason jars, um, they have lids uh, made for sprouting, which you put the lid on and they have like a screen here, so you can use any jar or any jar you find, like even in the dollar store, right, and get your own tool, you can make it for a lid. So that's one way that I, I sprout my food. And I use the Easy Sprout. This is meant for sprouting and it's uh, very convenient. It comes in this box and then it comes with these instructions and it can tell you how long to soak your seeds or grains and, and how long they take to sprout. So there's some of them that are in here, which is okay. So basically it comes, it's plastic and it comes with, um, this is actually a measuring cup and it has these uh, slots for drainage. So you can actually sprout some seeds in here and just place it back in there. But it has this big large one here, which you can put your sprouting items in here. It has this small, little, um, whatever you call these things, a strainer that you can place here because if you want to sprout some small seeds, that'll prevent them from actually going through. So what you want to do is for soak and you fill this up, you put your sprouting items in here, then you put it in here and it'll soak. When you're done soaking, you just take this out. It'll drain from here. You want to do this over the sink, dump the water out. So once you're finished rinsing and you're going to drain your sprout, you're just going to put this here. There's an area, a space here, so while it's dripping and draining, it'll just go in the bottom so it won't keep the sprouting items wet. And then you can also put some items in here. And there's two lids. This one's a vented lid. And this one's a solid lid that you will put on once you've finished sprouting your items. You just put the lid on and then you'll put this in the fridge, right? Because you want to keep it nice and closed. So anyways, that's, that's pretty good. It comes with everything. And it just takes up a very small space in your counter, which I usually use just like that. So it doesn't take up a lot of room. So it's very convenient to use. And you can just use a strainer. You don't have to go out and buy a sprout oil. You can use a strainer. Strainers come in all different sizes and colors. They come in like a plastic or a, a metal. You know, they got hooks on the end here to hang on to a bowl or whatever. And I want to show you something cute. You can use a tea infuser right here and it has a hook on it and you just open this up and you put your seed or grain or whatever you're going to sprout in here, close it up and then you can hang it up in your sink or just hang it like over a bowl or something like that. So I'm going to try some budgie seed in this. Now with your strainers, you're going to need something, you know, that they can sit on. So you can just use a pot, you know, like that. And they can't be touching the bottom of the of the pot, right? You need them to drain and not sit in water. So you want to measure the height and make sure there's space in between. But just have any kind of bowl. You can just use any bowl you like. Regular bowl. So a strainer and a bowl. That's all you would need to do that. So 
I'm sure everybody has bowls, right? And so far. So, yeah, as long as it doesn't touch the bottom, because you don't want a shorter plate that'll be touching here. So, there you go. So, let's get started sprouting. These are the seeds, beans, and grains that I will be sprouting. I have some budgie seed, barley, mung beans, red lentils, broccoli seed, and some green peas. The first thing that I do is I rinse all my sprouting items. I want to get off all the dirt and the dust and get them really clean so they can get off to a healthy start. The next thing that I do is I'm going to soak all my sprouting items. And what I do is I use about three to five times more water than there are the sprouting items. As they do uh, expand, as they're soaking, and I like to make sure there's enough water so that it doesn't uh, dry out the, the sprouting items. And I basically just use cold water. And here they all are soaking. So I'm going to let them soak for eight hours, which is overnight for me. I go to bed at 11 and we'll wake up at 7 and see what they look like. And this is the next morning. And look, they've expanded and they still have water in there, which is a good thing. And now is time to drain all the sprouting items that have been soaking overnight or for at least eight hours. And then I'm going to rinse them all. And usually the first rinse, I rinse them for quite a long time. I just want to make sure that there is no mold or you know, bacteria or anything you know, on the sprouting items. I want them really, really clean. Uh, rinsing is very important in order to sprout your food. You don't want to give your birds any bad food or bad sprouts or sprouts that you know, won't grow. So you want to rinse them really, really well. And then I'm going to shake up all the excess water as I don't want my sprouting items to be sitting in a pool of water because that can create um, them to grow mold. So you really want to just keep shaking and shaking and shaking right until you don't see anything dripping from them. You want them, all the water right off of them. And then I'm going to let them drain. I put all the strainers over various pots or bowls, as long as the bottom isn't touching the pot because you don't want them sitting in water, like I mentioned before. So any kind of drainage is fine with them. And for this uh, jar, browning jar, I put it on a slant so it can drip out. It's not touching the bottom. And this is the easy sprout. It does have a space in between the bottom where it doesn't touch the sprouts. It can drain there. And for my uh, budgie seed that's in a tea infuser, I just hung it over a handle on my cupboard. It's not touching my wood. And what I'm going to do is just put a, a bowl underneath just to catch any drips. So you can put like a cloth or whatever you like, but I'm putting a bowl just so if there's any drips, it can catch the dripping. And here they all are. So what I'm going to do is just let them all drain until the evening all day. So I rinse them in the morning and then rinse them in the evening. When I rinse them in the morning at 7 a.m., I'll rinse them again at night at 7 p.m. All right, so it's been 12 hours later. It's in the evening at 7 o'clock and it looks like the mung beans are starting to sprout a little bit already. I find the mung beans sprout pretty fast and so do the peas. So basically what I'm going to do now is rinse them again and drain them. So rinsing them adds moisture to the sprouts and it gets rid of any mold or toxins or dirt or dust. And you want to keep them wet. You don't want them to dry out. If you live in a dry area or it's summertime where your house is really hot, you're probably going to have to rinse them three or four times a day. Just check them if they're dry. They're not going to grow. You got to keep them moist, but just not sopping wet in, in water, which will grow mold. So I'm just going to rinse again and drain again, and I'll show you the process of how they grow each day. Rinsing the lentils, the mung beans, barley seeds, broccoli, the bird seed, and the peas. And this is the next day, the second day, the morning after. And look at the mung beans. They're already starting to sprout. They got a little tiny tail. The birds can actually eat these now, but they're not all sprouted. And this is the barley. I can kind of see a little tiny bit of sprout growing. And the lentils, they grow pretty fast too. I can see some tails on, or sprouts on some of them. 
And the peas, they grow really fast. I can see them starting to open. And these are the broccoli seeds. See how they're white? That's the seed starting to open. And this is the budgie seed. I really don't see anything. I might see little one. I find budgie seed takes a while to grow. Um, they're so small, it's hard to see, but it's it's gonna it's gonna grow. So basically, I'm just gonna rinse everything again really well and drain them, and I will see you again this evening. And this is the evening of the second day. And look at all the sprouts on the peas. It's amazing. These could be eaten already. It's better to eat the sprouts when they're small. They can continue to grow. They'll just be less nutritious, but they are nutritious anyways. So, um, yeah, these are the broccoli seeds. They're starting to sprout. See all the white parts? Those are the sprouts. They're looking great. And these are the barley. Ah. They didn't grow as much, but um, I see a few little sprouts coming out of them, but not not too much. And these are the mung beans. They're starting to sprout. I find these mung beans sprout pretty fast. Not much sprouts on the budgie seeds yet. I think I see one or two. And the lentil seeds. I can see some sprouts on these. Hopefully you can see them. Um, yeah, they look pretty good. So basically, I'm just going to rinse everything again. And, and drain them all. I'm not going to show you all that again, but basically here they all are draining and they're going to grow again overnight. So we'll see you in the morning. And this is the third morning. Look at them. Look at all the sprouts. They're pretty long and these can be eaten uh, right now. They can definitely be eaten. And look at the mung beans. They got more uh, sprouts on those. And this is the lentils. They're coming along. There's more sprouts on those as well. The barley is pretty slow growing. I don't know. I don't really see much. I see a little bit. Uh, I guess they're slower growing. They're not growing as fast as I would like them to grow. And look at this. Wow, there's the broccoli seed. They're growing really fast. They look in, uh, really good. The budgie seeds are slowly coming along. I see a few little sprouts there. But uh, not many, so hopefully it'll start to sprout quicker and uh, the birds will enjoy them. So I have rinsed everything and I'm leaving them to drain. I'm leaving them to drain for about 12 hours and uh, they're going to grow a lot more. You'll see. Um, yeah, these, I'm really surprised that they grow so fast. So we'll see you in the evening. So this is day three. Look at them. Look at the peas. Look how long the sprouts are. So these are definitely need ready to eat. I'm probably going to put them in the fridge while I wait for the other sprouts to grow. But my birds definitely can eat these now. And these are the mung beans. They're looking good. They're sprouting more. I just got to pick out a few of the bad ones. Any brown ones or black ones, you want to just pick them out and discard them. And the lentils are looking good. I see some more sprouts on them. Not all of them have sprouted, but I'm going to keep... Uh, rinsing them and see how they turn out, but most of them are edible right now. And the barley seeds, they're actually growing pretty slowly. I do see a little bit of sprouts, so we'll just see what happens on the next rinse and drain. And the budgie seed, it's surely taking us time to sprout, but I do see some sprouts. It's just very, very tiny, but it's getting there. And look at the broccoli seeds. Wow, they sprout really, really fast. And they're about to be ready to be eaten. All right, so I did, I rinsed them and I'm draining them again. And I know they're all probably going to be all ready in the morning. I'm just very excited at what they'll look like at the final stage. I'm letting the peas dry out. I'm going to give some to my birds. I'm letting the broccoli dry out. So I moved them to the strainer because they were too wet in the easy sprout. They're ready to be eaten and just going to store these in the fridge if they're not eaten already. And there's my budgie seed. It's very slow growing and um, the bar barley is slow growing as well. So I will see you in the morning and I'm excited to see what they're going to look like. And this is the fourth morning and I did have my peas in the fridge overnight. Has it ready to eat? And I'm just waiting until everything else is sprouted so I can feed into my birds. 
And the broccoli seeds have grown a little bit as well. They've grown even more. So I think I'm still going to rinse them as I still see a lot of brown there. And I think some more will grow, but they're looking really, really good. And the mung beans, look at they got a lot more sprouts. And they're looking really good as well. They're pretty much ready to eat as well, but I'm still probably going to rinse them and drain them and let them grow a little bit more. And the lentils, look at they're coming along really good. See all the sprouts? My birds love the lentils. They'll eat these up like candy. And the barley, I still don't see, you know, really good sprouts, just very, very tiny. So I could just feed them as a soak seed. I'll just see how it goes. The budgie seeds are coming along slowly. There's a few little sprouts. So hopefully with the next rinse and drain, there'll be more sprouts. So I will see you again this evening. Okay, this is the fourth evening, and look at this. And These are definitely ready to be eaten. These are the broccoli seeds. They look delicious. I'm sure all my birds will enjoy, especially my small birds. And the mung beans, look at them. They're growing. They're coming along really nice. The lentils are looking good. There's a lot more sprouts than there was the last time. And there's not much change in the barley. Um, I'm probably just going to feed it as a soak seed. It is, doesn't seem to grow very much. The budgie seed seems to be coming along. There's a few little sprouts. So I'm hoping with one more rinse and drain, the sprouts will be coming out. I do see a few there. Hopefully you can see them. But I'm hoping that it'll all sprout very soon. So I'm going to give the barley another rinse and drain. And um, the lentils and the budgie seed and I will get back to you in the morning and it's the morning of the fifth day and look how delicious these mung beans look they're definitely ready to be eaten and the broccoli seeds they're definitely ready to be eaten look how good they look and the lentils they did sprout some more and you can see a lot of green there that's all the sprouts now the barley didn't really sprout too much. There's little tiny sprouts there, but I'm basically just going to feed it the way it is, sort of like a soak seed. There's a little bit of sprouting on there, but I have been trying it with my birds and they've been eating it anyway, so they will enjoy it. But I do see a couple of little small sprouts. And look what happened. The budgie seed sprouted. I'm so excited. It looks really good and I'm hoping my budgies especially will enjoy it. Has sprouted seed is more healthy than the polished seed that they get. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to give it to them. So I made up a delicious plate of the sprouts and this plate is going into my bird room where all my small birds are. Hopefully they will enjoy it. And then I'm going to give my larger parrots, which are in my living room, I'll give them some of the sprouts on their tea stands and hopefully they will enjoy it as well. Galaxy likes it. Oh, he's eating the little, um, the broccoli sprouts. I knew the little birds would love this. And a mung bean. Is that ever cute? You like that, sweetie? Kingsley really loves the sprouts. He's a really good eater. Basically almost eats everything that I give him. And Marbles, she's my mustache parakeet. She's actually the best eater out of all my birds. She eats just everything and anything. She's always, always seems to be hungry, always eating, but she really enjoys the sprouts. And what I do is I normally put the sprouts on top of the chop in the morning. Or sometimes I'll just give the sprouts separately for, for dinner. It just depends. I just vary it up. So just vary your bird's diet and offer them sprouts along with all the other foods that they eat. And hopefully you enjoyed my video and hopefully you start sprouting soon. So we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.